Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from definite integrals involving greatest integer function, right? So here uh, we have to solve this integral uh, from 0 to 10 and here the integrand is square of greatest integer of x, right? So here uh, we will learn uh, how to directly solve these type of integrals. Uh, when the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is a natural number and the integrand is a square of uh, greatest integer of x, right? So viewers, in our earlier videos, uh, we have discussed uh, the integrals of the type uh, that is 0 to 10 and here we have greatest integer of uh, x, right? And also we have discussed integrals of this type that is the cube of uh, greatest integer of uh, x, right? So here uh, the power of greatest integer of x is 1, that is the exponent is 1. And here uh, the exponent of greatest integer of x is 3, right? So we have already discussed these type of uh, uh, integrals in our earlier videos. But here I uh, will uh, find out the value of this type of uh, definite integral uh, where the exponent is 2, right? So here uh, we have uh, the square of the greatest integer of x, right? So to uh, evaluate this type of integral, uh, we make use of uh, this formula. That is, suppose we have 0 to n. And here we have the square of greatest integer of x, right? So the uh, direct formula for evaluating these type of integrals uh, where the integrand is square of greatest integer of x and the lower limit is 0 but the upper limit is a natural number, right? So n belongs to the set of natural numbers, right? So the direct result is 1 over 6 then we have n, n minus 1 and 2n minus 1, right? So this is the formula for evaluating uh, this type of integral. So if we take this integral as i and if we compare uh, this integral with this one, then we can see that the value of n uh, is 10, right? And 10 is a natural number, right? So the direct value of this integral is 1 over 6. Uh, we'll take n uh, here. So we have uh, 10. Then we have 10 minus 1. Then we have 2 times 10 minus 1. Right? So we have 1 over 6. This is 10. This is 9. This is 10 to the 20. 20 minus 1. That is 19. So here... Uh, we have 2 3s are, 2 5s are, this is 3 3s are, and this is uh, 5 3s are 15. 15 times 19, that is equal to 285, right? So the value of uh, this integral is equal to uh, 285 uh, due to uh, this result, right? So here I would like to mention uh, two more results of uh, this kind so here if we have the integral uh, uh, like this 0 to n and here we have greatest integer of x then the direct result for uh, this type of integral is n n minus 1 over 2 right and if we have the integral uh, of this kind that is 0 to n and we have the cube of greatest integer of x then the direct result is n, n minus 1 over 2 and we'll take the square of uh, this term, right? So suppose uh, we have to find the value of this integral, then the direct value of uh, this integral can be evaluated from this result. So n is 10, so here we'll take 10. So we have 10 times 10 minus 1 over 2. 2 so this is 10 times 9 over 2 and this is 2 5s are 10 so 5 9s are 45 right so the value of this integral is 45 
Similarly, uh, we can obtain the value of this integral. So here, the value of n uh, is 10, right? So uh, we'll take the value of uh, n as 10 in this result. So we have 10, then we have 10 minus 1 over 2, and we take the square of this term. So we have 10 times 9 over 2, and here we have a square. So this is uh, 2 fives are. So we have 5 nines are 45. So we have 45 square. So the square of 45 is 20, uh, 25, right? So 2025, right? So this is how uh, by making use of uh, these uh, direct results, we can uh, evaluate the integrals of these uh, types.